Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at a few scatter diagrams and get a feel for what the correlation factor or the correlation coefficient should be. Here we have what seems to be a random scattering of data. There doesn't seem to be any particular relationship between the horizontal and the vertical axis. In other words, I could draw a best fit line in almost any direction, or really in any direction, and I would have about the same number of data points on one side versus the other. For example, I could draw the best line, best fit line like this, and I have about the same data points above or below the line. I could draw the best fit line like this, I have about the same number of points on the left or the right, or at any angle. So therefore, we can say there's no visible correlation, and you can say that the correlation coefficient is about equal to zero. Now here we have data that seems to have some correlation between the vertical and the horizontal axis. If I draw a line like this, it really doesn't, it would not follow the data points, but if I draw a line like this, you can see that it follows the general structure of the data points, so maybe this could be a good representation of the best fit data line. It's not quite a line, because it's not straight, but hey, close enough. So, we can see here that there's some correlation, maybe not really strong, but some correlation between the horizontal and the vertical data set. So maybe there you can say that R is about, hmm, about 0 0.5. Of course, what we're going to do in the videos to come is we're going to show you how to exactly calculate those correlation coefficients and really how to interpret them. But at least we can get a visualization of what's going on here, and we can say that roughly the correlation coefficient is about 0.5. Now here we can see that there's a much stronger correlation between the horizontal versus the vertical data set, so we can say that there's a strong positive correlation, and R will be approximately equal to positive 1, probably just slightly below, maybe 0.9 or 0.8, uh, I should say maybe 0. Point, maybe a 98 or 0. 0.95 or something like that. It's not a perfect equal to 1 because all the data is not exactly on the line, but you can see if you draw a best fit line here that the data points are very, very closely spaced towards that line. Here we have a similar situation, but in this case the slope is negative. So we could say that there's a strong negative correlation, and so the correlation coefficient is approximately equal to a negative 1, maybe a negative 0 0.98, or maybe a 0 0.95, or something like that. A number close to 1, but it's a negative number because we have a negative correlation. So here we can see that the correlation coefficient is positive, here we can see that the correlation coefficient is negative. In both cases, there's strong correlations, so therefore the number is close to 1, a positive 1 versus a negative 1. Here the correlation is not as strong, maybe about a 0.5, and here you can see no correlation at all, and therefore the correlation coefficient is equal to zero. So at least uh, from a quick viewpoint you can get a pretty close idea what the correlation coefficient is. In the next videos we'll learn how to actually calculate that correlation coefficient, and that is how it's done.